What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you today. So today we've got an extension that can quickly create decks from selected faces inside of SketchUp. So this extension was voted on by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extensions that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you want to vote on the extension that I cover every week and support the show, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download this extension from the Sketchication plugin store. And um, the extension is called Deck Builder, and it's from Sam D. Mitch. Now, a couple things about this extension. First off, it is free to download. Note that this is an older extension. It hasn't been updated since 2016, so you might get some weird results when working in the newer versions. I've been able to get it to run in 2021, but I can't make any guarantees on if it ran in 2020 or anything like that. So you're just going to have to try it out and see. So um, the other thing I want to note about this, because I've gotten several questions about it, is because this is an unsigned extension, sometimes when people bring it in from the Sketchication plugin store, so if we bring it in and install it, so I have had some people that have some issues. So if you install this through that Sketchication store, but then you go into your extension manager, this is being blocked. So the reason it's being blocked is because it's an unsigned extension. That just means they haven't gone through the extra step of the digital signature inside of the SketchUp extension warehouse, which I will link to a video about in the notes down below if you want more information. It's basically an added security step. But if you have your loading policy set to identified extensions only, this isn't gonna let this load. Um, you might get a little error message if you have approved unidentified extensions. So see how now it says trust. Or if you have everything just set to unrestricted, then you can just load it. So that's how you can get it to load. Um, again, that there is that extra security piece, which I talk about in that other video. But to get it to load, that's how you're going to do it. So now let's take a look at how this extension works. So the cool thing about this is it really just takes a face. So let's say we had a face like this one and I'm gonna go ahead and reverse my faces. But all you do is you just select the face, run the extension like this. So see how there's options in here to create your decking size, um, decking rotation, which is gonna affect the direction which your framing goes, as well as your joist spacing and some other things in here as well. So different post types, which we'll take a look at in a second. You can set all of these, but then if you click in here, it's gonna generate a deck based on all of those different things like this. So you can see how this quickly generates a deck that has supports. Um, it has your different joists running this way as well as your framing in here. And um, I know I got like a million comments on the last deck video I did about the direction of these joists. So you can adjust that rotation just by selecting the option for rotation 90 degrees like this. Well then your framing is gonna run the other direction. And so there's some interesting things you can do with this. So for example, but let's say we were to draw a shape like this one and then run this. Notice how this is still gonna build a rail all the way around the outside, as well as stairs and railings for those stairs. Now I will note that for some reason, it doesn't seem to be creating railings or creating uh, railings on the other side of the stairs. So, but the cool thing about this is these get created as individual pieces in here. So you can just take this and you can just create a copy just like this. So it's really easy to come in here and create things like that. Now notice there are some different options in here as well. So for example, let's see where to select this face. And let's say we didn't want the steps. In this case, you could turn, you could set this so it's not gonna create steps. Well then it would just come in here and it would just create this whole thing just like this. And let's say you wanted one of these sides to be open. You could just delete out the railing on this side. So these are created so that you can really easily kind of adjust them, which is cool. Now these aren't live, meaning once this is created, it's just kind of in there, right? So there's not a whole lot you can do about that, but you can use this to create like three-sided decks and other things like that. Now, one thing I have not tested, and let's go ahead and test this now, is let's say that we had kind of an off shape like this one. You can use this 
to create decks along those as well. Just note that it can get a little bit weird with the way these are being cut. So you don't have a ton of control over the way this is aligned, I don't believe. So if you were to do the same thing over here, and turn our rotation to zero, then your decking is going to go in a different direction. So I think that this uh, decking either goes in the direction of the red or green axes. So you could adjust the way that you draw your deck um, in order to drive the way that's gonna go, but you're a little bit limited in your customization options. So there's also options in here for different posts. So for example, you can do a post B and a spindle B, and notice how you get a little, um, you get a little preview in here of what those are gonna look like. So there's different options for different spindles that you could create. You could also set this where it only has like the posts and rails, for example. So if you wanted to add just posts and rails really quickly, you could do that just by drawing a shape as well. So overall for me, this is a fun little extension. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it and it can automate, especially on your simpler decks, the creation of the different decking or the joists so that you don't have to come in and do that manually. So depending on how custom you need to get, there's a point at which you're just going to have to model things yourself. But I really like how this does most of that for you for your simpler decks. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, if you might use this, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.